Imagine traveling across the continent in your own RV and on your own schedule without paying for expensive full hookup campsites or running a noisy gas powered generator. Hey everyone, I'm Hutch. My wife Sherry and I have been living the solar powered life since the fall of 2012, traveling to beautiful locations like this one. The system we're going to show you today is both portable and scalable to accommodate nearly any lifestyle. Here's how we do it. So our adventures have led us all over the continent, and right now it's led us to northern Quebec where these lovely little gnats have greeted us. It's all part of the price of admission. But let me introduce you to the first component of our solar powered system. This is Renogy's 100 watt foldable solar suitcase. And we love this product for its um, portability and its adaptability. With an extension cord of up to about 25 feet, we can put the solar panel out anywhere in the sun, take advantage of that sunshine while keeping the trailer in the shade. The trailer right now is in the sun, but in the afternoon it's going to be fully shaded. And that will mean we don't have to waste our valuable battery power on cooling down the trailer. People ask us all the time, well, how long does it take to charge up your battery? The answer is, of course, it depends. It depends on the charge status of the battery in the morning and the availability of sunlight. We normally use between 20 and 25 percent of our battery when we're just traveling. So in a day like today, it's going to take a couple hours to charge it back up to 100 percent. But if we were to drain that battery all the way back down to zero, this 100 watt panel will charge our 600 watt hour battery in about six hours of full sunlight. It's super easy to set up and to put away. got these integrated legs which help it set up. You're just going to fold those down. Fold the panel in half. Close the clasps and you're ready to go. Now this is lightweight enough to fit in the back of your car or to put in one of the storage lockers in the RV. It also comes with a protective case that you're just going to zip close and that's going to protect the glass for when it's, um, when it's you've put away in storage. But I know you're thinking, the most important question, Hutch, what can you run with your panel? Let's go inside and check it out. So welcome to the inside of Hamlet, our vintage Cantam rolling tiny home. This is where all the solar magic happens, where we convert the energy coming from the panel into usable energy via Renogy's Wanderer charge controller and 50 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. The battery is connected to a 400 watt inverter which charges up our AC appliances. AC appliances are anything you'd plug into the wall at home. Our system will run our LED lighting, fantastic vent fan overhead, and all of these personal electronics you see on the table. Our only kitchen electric appliance is a stick blender. We love this for making smoothies and pestos and sauces, oh, delicious. Camera batteries, our laptops, home entertainment system, power bank, and a few appliances that run on AAA or AA batteries. Now as writers, photographers, and campers, this equipment, it's our livelihood, so it's important that we keep it charged up. Sometimes we'll work in a public library or on a coffee shop and we'll take advantage of charging up while we're there, but for the most part, we use our system to power our lives. Now here's a pro tip that we've learned along the way. Taking advantage of extra wattage. It's already 11 o'clock and I've checked on our Renji Smart app to see that uh, the, the battery is fully charged at 100%. So right now the panel is just cranking out extra watts that aren't going to be used. So as we go and enjoy this park and go for a hike, we're going to take advantage of that extra wattage. We're going to turn on the inverter, plug in Sherry's laptop, and it'll be ready to go to process photos when she comes back later. Or in case we want to do something silly like watch a movie or something. With a little bit of creativity and a little bit of prior planning, you can easily prepare yourself to successfully live with solar power. You know, when we started out in this adventure, our goals were to live more simply and to have a smaller ecological footprint. We realize not everybody's going to want to live in such a tiny space or keep their energy needs so low, but that was our choice. And along the way, we've met others who have made different choices. Some have 
far smaller systems than ours and others far greater. The point here is that what we've shown you is scalable. There's no one size fits all solution here, but there is a size that will fit your lifestyle.